Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to caulk really big gaps. Okay, so the things you're going to need is some backer rod, a putty knife, a caulking gun, and preferably some latex caulking. But this can be applied to actually filling any large gaps with caulking. Okay you guys, so what we are going to be doing here first is we will put some backer rod in here. So what backer rod is, is it's this foam material that will go into here to stop the caulking that we use to fill this from shrinking so much. So we're going to put it about an eighth deep and there's all sorts of different sizes of this stuff. I will link some in the description below. And it should fit in fairly snug. If it's not snug, this stuff is too narrow. I'm just going to cut this right here. So we are not going to be using silicone caulking today. We are going to be using latex caulking because it's going up against a wall and it needs to remain paintable. So right now this stuff is all about, I'm working on getting it to about an eighth under. And it needs to be pretty uniform, otherwise it'll shrink at different rates and it won't be flat. Now I suspect we're gonna have to do two fills on this anyways, but who knows, maybe if we do a nice enough job we can just do one fill. We'll just have to wait and see. Next, I want to tape off the surfaces that I want to protect here. So I am going to do it almost right on the edge. Tight spaces. And trying to make it so you guys can see is challenging. Okay, so I'm doing it basically right on the edge. Not over the edge though, that you want to make sure of. So there's just a sliver of this um, marble material left showing. And that's just how I want it. Use this to line it up and tear it off just perfect. I'm happy with that. Actually, it's almost the slightest bit over, isn't it? Yeah, which is what we don't want. That's better. Make sure your edge is sealed down. And we'll go along here. I've already done the backer rod across the top. So I'm just getting set up here. In this case I've got the Dynaflex 230 white. So you definitely want to make sure it's a paintable caulking if it needs to get painted later. And in this case it does. I've got this little pad that I'm going to wipe the caulking onto and then a cloth to keep the knife really clean. Got my two inch knife for wiping it out of the corners. But anyways, let's get started. So you want to make sure that there's just enough in there that it's a little bit over full. Um, I cut the tip a little bit bigger than I usually would, but not too much. And if both surfaces needed to be protected from getting caulking on it, you would want to tape off both surfaces. But in this case, like I said, I'm going onto a painted surface. Okay, here goes. So the key here is that I'm going to be keeping the square edge of my knife up against the ceiling. Because if it's like this or, you know, then it's going to spill up the sides. But if I keep it square, and what's going to happen is it's going to leave a nice clean edge on the wall. And if you can see it leaving a built up edge, then you need to change the angle of your knife. And there shouldn't be any build up on the tape. There's just a thin white film there, but if it's thick and you can't see the tape well, then you need to wipe it again. Get right into the corner here. 
make sure it's full. Look, I just pulled it all out of there. Oops, I pushed into the corner and I accidentally pulled the material out of there. So careful of that. You don't want to angle your knife into the corner. Let's try that again. I'm just going to start right back here. Now let's try this one again. You can see how much material I'm pulling off of here. This is the closest I can get you guys to this and still be able to work. So I'm going to get right down into that corner. But nobody will be, ever be able to see into here because it's way down low. I mean it's way up high. It's down low in a really high shelf. Okay, hold steady, angle against the wall. Sometimes it just takes a second pass to get the stuff off the wall. So we've got a lift up there and I have a bunch of material on the wall still, so another nice steady pass. See that edge is a bit built up. And we got this nasty lift off, so let's bring that down low where nobody's really going to see it. Okay, happy with that. That looks good. So here it is so far, generally looking pretty clean. I'm happy with it. Alright you guys, here's the one from the thumbnail. It's big. I'll show you the stages, but there's nowhere for me to set my camera up here. Here it is with the backer rod. Here it is, all nice and full. Looks really good and flat for now. I'll have to wait and see what it does after it sets. It just needs a little bit more in the back there, but I couldn't get that in. I'll have to do that after it's hardened. So I'm really happy with how those turned out on the first coat. However, we're gonna come back um, next week. We're actually gonna leave this a long time to shrink and dry and see how it looks and see if it needs another fill. Okay, it's been about four or five days since I've last been here. Let's check out that caulking and see how much shrinkage there is. So that is not bad at all. You can see right there, it coved out just a little bit but it's so little that I couldn't even see it from the floor. From the floor, it looked totally flat. Okay, now let's check out these first ones. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, it did shrink about two millimeters from flush, but generally, and this little spot, that was tricky. I had to just fill that one in today. I had to fill the line and then fill that in. But, you know, from way back here, it looks pretty good. Let's check out the next one. So again, it's looking really good. Now, if you needed it actually flush, I would recommend leaving the tape on and doing one more coat, and then it would come out with maybe like half a mil of shrinkage. But you know, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. It's pretty darn clean for the most part. This is a bit of a weird little transition. There was a huge gap here, like 3 8 so you can see it coved out a little bit, but once this all gets painted, I think it'll start to blend pretty darn well. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so now that I've stepped back and taken a look at that from where it's gonna be looked at the most, I think it looks pretty darn good. This is the kitchen sink. People are always gonna be about three or four feet away from it. And yeah, it looks really good under those conditions. And I think the backer rod is crucial to that. If I hadn't installed that, it would have shrunk way more and it also would have been like wibbly and wobbly. Have you ever noticed when you caulk something how it goes in like all squiggly? So what that means is that behind your smooth line, it's uneven depths. And so when it shrinks, it'll actually show that squiggliness. Ask me how I know. I've caulked things that were way too big to be caulked without a backer rod and then had my work look just horrendous. So if you're looking for any of the tools to complete this job, I will put them all in the description below. And I also want to take a moment to let you guys know that if you're really struggling on a project and you're trying to get it perfect and it's not coming out right, 
Just take a break, take a breather, step back and come and look at it maybe even the next day if you have to. Because what you will often find is the things that you are fussing about, the minutia, when you're like head deep right in there looking at your work, when you take a step back, it's actually no big deal and you can usually live with it. So that's the Vancouver Carpenter tip for the day. Be easy on yourself, take a step back from your work, look at it with a new set of eyes and then ask yourself if you can live with it or not. If you can, then maybe it's time to move on to that next thing. If you can't, well, I don't know, hopefully I have the tips in these videos. So I just wanna say thanks to everyone who's been watching. I'm really stoked to have this channel going. I'm happy that you guys are getting something out of it and um, hopefully your project's going really well. Thanks for watching. Till the next video.